Welcome to my 10th DVD showcase. Um, in honor of the 10th DVD showcase, I thought I might uh, showcase one of my all-time favorite um, DVD sets, SpongeBob SquarePants, the first 100 episodes. Um, this was to um, celebrate the 10th anniversary of SpongeBob SquarePants, which was uh, 2009. Um, and yeah, um, and this ha and this set has been uh, re-released many times in different packaging styles. This is the original release. Um, from 2009, but in 2017, they came out with this one, which was actually the first copy of the first 100 episodes I got, and then later on in like 2019 or 2020, they came out with a third version that is actually similar in size um, to the original release, and all... And all and I'll get in, into each different packagings later. Um, uh, for now, I just want to show you um, a little surprise. Um, I got a new 4K, uh, a 4K Blu-ray player, um, which, which um, I mean, which is a Sony. It's the same manufacturer. It's the same manufacturer as the old region-free Blu-ray player that I have, but. But, I mean, like, this one, um, I bought it, like, straight up from Target. It was, like, on sale. Um, this one is region-free modded, which was, which I had for a few years. I'm still going to keep this, though, since I do have, you know, some out-of-country releases that won't play, that probably won't play on this thing. But, yeah, um, so, so that means I will be, I will be showcasing, uh, 4K Blu-ray movies at some point. Um, and yeah, and, 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 and if anyone's wondering, um, I will be putting in the, uh, I, I will be putting, um, in all the discs on that, on that particular player. So yeah, but anyways, uh, back to the set. So, uh, let's look at the packaging from the original release. So, so yeah, so the first 100 episodes, um, it contains pretty much, um, uh, it, it uh, I mean, if you want a set that has every every Golden Age season, uh, this would definitely um, be the set I'm um, to get. Um, I know most people kind of consider, uh, you know, seasons one through three to be, you know, the show's Golden Age, you know, since that was when, you know, the show's creator, Steven Hillenburg, became a showrunner. Um, I actually consider four and five to also be um, a part of the Golden Age because I think they're just as good as uh, as the first three seasons. But yeah, I mean, this is this is still you know an amazing set, and you know to own. You know, if you want to get like the golden age of SpongeBob, and here's what the side looks like. Um, there's one side you know that features artwork of Squidward, uh, which is not on the re-release. Um, and then the other side is pretty much the same, but with Patrick. You know, the Patrick on the on the spine, um, that's definitely on the re-releases. Here's what the top looks like, and then here's what the back looks like. It says it is the best SpongeBob DVD collection ever, which I do agree. With 38 hours, 14 discs, one yellow sponge. Then there's like a description for everything that are like episode related. Even includes some of the special features. Um, I'd say I'd say the main feature would be the square roots documentary square roots the story of spongebob squarepants um, and there's also a little um, a disclaimer um, about it containing scenes and language of a mature nature viewer description is is advised um, and yeah and this is a i think there were some um i i think if you bought it back in the day i think it came in like um in like a glass um and like a, a clear plastic case or something that had like bubbles in it, but um, you, uh, yeah, like my copy of did not have that. But the uh, but the front cover does have that 3D lithium um cover, which looks really nice. And so yeah, so this is like um the sleeve. Here's what the here's what the main box looks like. Pretty much identical to the 
to the lithium cover. You still got Patrick on the side. And, and you also get a view of Spongebob's back, which is actually not in any of the other releases of the first 100 episodes. And of course, um, housed inside this cardboard box, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skinny DVD cases with the two discs each. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull them out. And just for the record, I have I have replaced the um, um, I did replace the skinny DVD cases with with newer ones because um, most of the original ones you know were starting you know to lose. Um, you know, we're starting to break, or like, like, um, the eject button on, on some of the cases were starting to break, so I had to replace them all. Well, actually, hold on, before I open the, before I show you the inside, I should show you, you know, each of the covers. So, so discs one and two has SpongeBob SquarePants, and the back shows you what episodes are on both discs. And so, yeah, and, and they also, you know, show you the episode content um, on the other side of the cover as well. So, yeah, so disc one and disc two feature SpongeBob. Here is disc three and four with Patrick Starr. It's kind of hard for me um, to open these cases since... You know, I'm using one hand, and I'm using the other to hold the camera. Then, let's see. Here is disc five and six, featuring Gary the Snail. Disc 7 and 8, featuring Squidward Tentacles. Why won't this close? There we go. All right, disc nine and ten. We have Mr. Krabs. He's making the exact same face. I mean, I mean, it, it's it's different pose, but the face is, is exactly the same. I did not notice that until just right now. And then we have discs 11 and 12 featuring Sandy Cheeks. And then lastly, we have the final case, uh, disc 13 and 14, featuring Plankton. And disc 14 houses all the bonus features. I'll get to more about the bonus features when I talk about the pros and cons of the overall set. So that is the overall packaging of the original release. Now I'll start um, you know, looking at the packaging on the second release. All right, here is the second release. Um, this was the this was the uh, this was the first uh, version of of the first 100 episodes that I bought. Um, it was an Easter gift. Um, and yeah, I think I think when the original retailed. I think the original release retailed for like fifty or sixty dollars. Um, if anyone who originally bought this back in the day, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the second, uh, but the second uh, release, I definitely know, I definitely remember it being uh, being uh, forty dollars at Walmart, while the third release, 
Um, you can you can currently uh, buy the third release at Walmart right now for like twenty or twenty five dollars. But yeah, so here's here's the here's the second release. Um, instead of being in a um, cardboard box that houses like skinny DVD cases, this one is just one giant DVD case. Yeah, everything is mostly identical. Like, I mean, there's some differences. Like, for example, the Nickelodeon logo is at the bottom of the original. It's on the top on the reissue. And the back. All the legal information is at the bottom of the back cover, while all the legal information is at the very, very bottom. But nevertheless... Um, I'm not really a big fan of this style of packaging. I get that it's probably, like, um, like cheaper. I, um, um, the Foster's Home Complete Series Set, you know, uses this packaging style. And I think the Paramount release of Hey Arnold, you know, also has it in the style. I'm not a big fan of, of these discs, you know, like, being partially stacked. I mean, I don't even like, I don't even like stacked discs, like, in general. I... I think they should be banned. Um, yeah, so so the so the other side of the cover, you know, shows you you know what episodes are on each disc, which is nice. I'm glad that they didn't you know sacrifice anything. But yeah, they disc one, disc two. Uh, the printing is exactly the same from each release. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, another reason why I'm not a big fan of this packaging is that like this, like this piece, it's not connected to this. It's like completely removable. And um, yeah, well, I, like I already said, I'm not really a big fan of it. But so yeah, so that's pretty much it for the second release. Um, now I'll show you the packaging on the third release. All right, so here is the third release. Um, I, uh, the reason why I wanted to buy uh, this particular version was because I wasn't a fan of, of the packaging style um, of the set, and so when I so when I saw you know copies of this version you know that you know that are housed in like you know two different DV cases I I thought I thought it would be great. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be, and I'll I'll tell you later as I start opening them. Um, and that and th and that reason alone was why. I bought the original release just because, you know. So yeah, so um, everything about the... Okay, so so this other side, uh, Squidward is not on here. Because if I compare this one to the first release, as you can see... Um, well, I mean, I mean, the different bubbles, of course, but Squidward's on the original you know, release of the... Of the sleeve and he's not uh the back is identical as well i mean everything about the artwork on, on the third release is identical to this one so yeah so they're housed in two different dvd cases uh, what's weird about this particular release is that one of the cases is slightly yellowed while the other one is not. I don't know what happened because I, I see some of the other copies, you know, like from Walmart, and they all have that same problem. But this one has discs one through seven. In theory, this is this is good packaging. Uh, the main problem is, um, would be that, like, the the eject buttons are not that strong like like um yeah like disc six i had to put tape over it um you know because like it just kept falling off and it's just like it's just like i mean i get i get you know that that, that they make the want 
I get that they want to make them the set cheaper, and I appreciate it because, you know, it's great when official DVDs, you know, when they start, you know, it's, I, I mean, it's great when official DVDs, you know, I can get official DVDs for really cheap, but the problem is, is that the, is that, you know, they'll use, like, really cheap quality, um, uh, cases, and it's like, I mean, I, I mean, like, what if it, like, arrives broken, like, if I bought it online or something, or, like, what if, or what if it's broken, like, at the store itself, because, like, I definitely remember, uh, my first attempt at, at trying to get the Ren and Simbi DVD set, um, I bought it, uh, and then I noticed, um, you know, there was a crack on the case, so, um, I, I went back and, and, and returned it. I did buy, uh, I did eventually buy another copy at, um, at another Walmart, and, and that one was in, you know, much better condition. Yeah, like, yeah, like, look, I, I, I didn't even, I didn't even press that down, and, and still, and it, it still went out. I mean, in theory, this is the best packaging style, but in execution and in the quality of the discs, or not the discs, but the cases themselves, not very good. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for, for all three different packaging styles, and at the end of the uh, video, um, I'll let you know which one I'll be keeping my collection. So let's just look at all 14 discs and see what they have to offer. All right, so it's loading right now. Let's see, where was I? Oh yes, so here, let me turn this, let me turn that off. All right, so here's what the first disc looks like. Um, of course, I, I had to mute the audio. It does play music um, from the show, but um, the music from the show is copyrighted, so um, so I have to mute them. So yeah, so you can play all the episodes, or you can select a certain episode, or you could just watch in the overall credits, because that's kind of how the SpongeBob um, sets roll. Uh, what's weird about the 4K player um, is that <laughs> is that usually when I put in a disc, um, it'll start off stretched at first, but when you, like, when you get into, like, the episode content, um, it, it plays in its correct aspect ratio. Like, let's play uh, Help Wanted, for example. Hold on, that's not right. All right, so, so here's what I did. I went back to the home menu and tried to, you know, um, I mean, I had it set. Um, to, you know, original aspect ratio. So I don't know why it, it was still stretched out um, even by then. Usually that never happens. Um, if it does happen, um, either either go back um, to the home menu and, and double check your settings and try to go back in to see if it'll play, and, you know, in its proper aspect ratio. And yeah, it's playing in its 4x3 right now. Um, I don't have that issue for the um, for the region free blu-ray player and yeah this includes episodes from season one um, and you can and you can select like which particular segment that you want to watch um, and what's cool about the um about the spongebob and well that's just a thing for like spongebob dvs in general but what's great about the 100 episode set um is that is that the first episode you know on each disc plays a theme song while every other episode just um, you know, cut straight to the episode. You don't have to skip the theme song, you know, for the other episodes, just, just for the first one. So there's Help Wanted, um, which was, which is pretty much like the pilot or at least, uh, or, or at least, uh, um, slightly redone version of the original pilot. Cause you know, the pilot one had a different opening, uh, Reef Blower and Tea at the Tree Dome. 
Uh, one uh, fun fact about Help Wanted, if you bought the original Season 1 set from the early 2000s, Help Wanted was actually not included. Um, it, it, it was for copyright reasons with the, uh, with the Tiny Tim song. And I guess they just didn't, I guess they just didn't bother wanting to pay royalties. So they left it out of the season one set. They didn't include it on any DVD release until season three. But thankfully the first 100 episode set does include Help Wanted, um, right from the get go. So yeah, so, uh, great episodes. Next, we have Bubble Stand and Ripped Pants. Um, they're pretty good episodes, too. Uh, Jellyfishing, Plankton. And then Naughty Nautical Neighbors and Boating School. Then when you click on more, you get four more episodes. Pizza Delivery, that's a great one. Home Sweet Pineapple, I didn't really like that one all that much, but I do love Pizza Delivery. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, that's another favorite of mine. Uh, Pickles, a pretty good one. Hall Monitor uh, and Jellyfish, Jellyfish Jam, those are really nostalgic episodes. Um, Sandy's Rocket and Squeaky Boots. Squeaky Boots is actually somewhat um, of a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, and, you know, there's some people that actually you know don't like the episode, but I, don't know, I, I thought it was funny. So yeah, so that is it for disc one. Now I'll put in disc two. All right, here is disc two. Um, one thing I really love about the presentation of the first 100 episodes is that is 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 that like is like the presentation changes for each disc, which is normally it's usually not the case for most um, season or complete series sets. But um, but for some reason, the first 100 episodes was one of those um, only SpongeBob DVDs that they actually put a lot of effort in. So let's look at the episodes. Again, most of them are probably from season one. So we got Nature Pants, Opposite Day. And we got Culture Shock and Fun. Those ones are great episodes. Muscle, Muscle Bob Buff Pants and Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost. The Chaperone and Employee of the Month. Scaredy Pants, I Was a Teenage Gary, SB129, a great episode, um, Karate Choppers, um, pretty decent one, Sleepy Time, Suds, Valentine's Day, and The Paper. Alright, now it's time to put in Disc 3. Here is Disc 3. Let's look at the episodes. Okay, so we still have a few season one episodes. There's Arg and Rock Bottom. Pretty good episodes. Texas, Walking Small. Fools in April, Neptune Spatula. Pretty good episodes. Hooky. Um, I'm not a big fan of this one, but I do love um, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 2. And that's pretty much it for Season 1. We're now starting to get into Season 2 now. So there's Your Shoes Untied, Squid's Day Off, Something Smells, Bossy Boots, Big Pink Loser, Bubble Buddy, great episodes. Dying for Pie and Imitation Crabs. Okay, so you can actually tell, like, from the screenshots, um, some of, um, I mean, the video quality, for the most part, is great, because, I mean, Spongebob is one of those shows that usually has, like, fantastic uh, video quality. However, there are some Season 2 episodes where, where like, Spongebob's is yellow, is a lot more pale like than it should be. Um, this was actually like that, you know, back when the episodes originally aired. Um, but I think if you were to watch them on Paramount Plus, I think, I think, I think they'll have the correct uh, SpongeBob yellow. But anyways, um, uh, now let's 
uh, put in disk four. All right, here is disk four. Go to the episode selection. All right, so we have Wormy and Patty Hype, great episodes. Uh, Grandma's Kisses and Squidville. Uh, Squidville um, is a great one. Uh, Grandma's Kisses, probably not so much. Well, actually, no, nah, I don't think it was. I don't know. I mean, I think Grandma Grandma's Kisses was decent. Um, pre hibernation Week, uh, Life of Crime, uh, those ones are actually good episodes. And then we have Christmas Who. Um, great Christmas, uh, a great Christmas episode. Uh, that one, and it's a SpongeBob Christmas. Uh, probably the best, um, I think pro probably the best holiday episodes that SpongeBob has ever done. I'm not sure um, um, if they have done any other holiday ones besides those two, but I digress. Survival of the Idiots, Dumped, No Free Rides, I'm Your Biggest Fanatic, Mermaid Man and Bronco Boy 3, um, another great one. All the Mermaid Man and Bronco Boy episodes are like, are like some of my favorite. I mean, Mermaid Man and Bronco Boy are like some of my favorite characters from the show, so I'm a little bit biased there. Uh, Squirrel Jokes, it's all right. Okay, it's it's not that great. Um, Pressure and the Smoking Peanut. Is that everything? I think that's everything. All right, on to disc five. All right, here is disc five. Um, I feel like at some point I'm going to lose count. So let's look at the episodes. Again, most if not all of them are probably from season two. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, so we have Shanghai and Gary Takes a Bath. Okay, one, one, one cool thing about this particular release is that the version of Shanghai you know, that they use is is like the original it's slightly edited you know because they got rid of the phone number and some and like the mentions of like that particular phone number and nick.com but for the most part it's pretty much in the original version like of the episode you know with like the original patchy segments you know asking you um, to vote and everything it was pretty cool and, and that's kind of like one of the reasons why i think the set is worth it in my opinion all right, next one, we have Welcome to the Chum Bucket and Frankendoodle. Great episodes. Um, the Secret Box, a good episode. Uh, and then we have Bang Geeks, uh, which is um, a great episode. I don't think it's... I don't... I don't think it's the best SpongeBob episode, in my opinion. I mean, Sweet Victory is great, and it's a great episode, but... I mean, compared to the hundreds of SpongeBob episodes um, out there, it's... Um, I wouldn't say um, it's... Um, I wouldn't say it's, like, one of the greatest, but it, it it is still great, though. And then we have The Graveyard Shift and Krusty Love. The next page we have Procrastination, I'm with Stupid, Sailor Mouth, Artist Unknown, again, they're great episodes, Jellyfish Hunter, and The Fry Cook Games. So now let's put in disc six. Here is disc six. All right, let's see what episodes are on that disc. Sandy, SpongeBob, and the Worm. Squid on Strike. The Algae's Always Greener. Sponge Guard on Duty. Oh, okay, hold, oh, hold on, let's go back. At this point, we are now on season three. So yeah, so, so, so yeah, so the rest of the episodes from now on are from season three. Club SpongeBob, My Pretty Seahorse, The Bully, Just One Bite, uh, The Nasty Patty, Idiot Box, Great episodes as always. Mermaid Man and Bronco Boy 4. Um, I, I'd say that I'd say out of all the Mermaid Man and Bronco Boy episodes, I'd say the fourth one is probably the weakest. Uh, Doing Time. Snowball Effect. One Crab's Trash. 
as seen on TV, and can you spare a dime? So I guess that's it. Let's put in disc seven now. Disc seven. No weenies allowed. Squilliam's return. Crabborg, which is another favorite episode of mine. Um, uh, a rocket by bivalve or whatever, whatever you pronounce it. Not so much. Uh, Wet Painters, Krusty Krab Training Video, pretty decent. SpongeBob's House Party, I don't really like that one all that much. But the patchy segments are pretty good, though. Um, Chocolate with Nuts, great one. An another favorite of mine, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 5, another good one. New Student Starfish, Clams. Spongebob BC. And the Great Snail Race. Uh, that one's not that good. Uh, Midlife Crustacean. Um, th uh, that one. Um, yeah. Yeah, like this episode. Or this DVD does have Midlife and Crustacean. If anybody's wondering. Another reason to get the this particular um, DVD set. Since... Um, yeah, they don't play the episode um, all that often on Nick anymore, and, and you can't get it, and, and you can't uh, you can't find it on streaming or digital platforms for I don't know what I, I can't remember the reason why, but and nevertheless, let's put in disc eight. Here is disc eight. So we got born again crabs. I had an accident. Crabby Land, the camping episode. I love the camping episode. Missing Identity, Plankton's Army. That um, that's another great one. Plankton's Army. Um, the Lost episode, aka the Sponge Who Could Fly. And I guess it's all right. I think the patchy segments kind of make up for it. SpongeBob meets the Strangler and pranks a lot. So that's it for season three. Now we're on to season four. Fear of a Krabby Patty, that, that one's a great episode. Shell, Shell of a Man, that one's a, definitely a pretty nostalgic episode. The Lost Mattress, Crabs vs. Plankton. Have You Seen the Snail? Uh, a pretty underrated special, um, if you ask me. Yeah, I guess that's, I guess, I, I guess that's kind of where it ends. So, let's put in Disc 9 now. We are on Disc 9, so... We're sort of at like a home stretch. Well, well, arguably the home stretch would be like, um, would be like at and would be like from like disc seven or something. We're we're close to the end. Uh, Skill Crane, um, good episode. Um, and then we have Good Neighbors, which is not not a very beloved episode. Selling out, Funny Pants. Dunces and Dragons. Um, the, I know that one is um, is I know. Um, here, let's go back to Dunces and Dragons. I know Dunces and Dragons is pretty beloved. Um, it's been a while since I've seen it. So, Enemy in Law, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy Six, um, Patrick Smart Pants, Squid Bob Tentacle Pants, Krusty Towers, a great one. Mrs. Puff, you're fired. Ghost Host, Chimps Ahoy. Whale of a Birthday, and Karate Island. Alright, let's put in... Um, yeah, we're on disc 9. Let's put in disc 10 now. Alright, disc number 10. All That Glitters, Wishing You Well, The New Leaf, Once Bitten, Bummer Vacation, Wig Struck, Squidtastic Voyage, That's No Lady, okay, That's No Lady, that's such a, that's such a good episode, The Thing, Hocus Pocus, Driven to Tears, 
Rule of Dumb, Born to be Wild, Best Frenemies, The Pink Perloiner, I'm probably not spelling that right, and then Squidward, which is a great episode. All right, let's put in disc 11. All right, here is disc 11. And so now let's look at its episodes. All right, so we have Best Day Ever and The Gift of Gum. And that's pretty much it for season four. Um, everything after Friend or Foe are from season five. Not quite as good as the first four seasons, but... But season five doesn't have, um, it doesn't have as many duds as season six. So that's kind of why I, I, I kind of consider season five to be somewhat in the golden age. All right. The original Fry Cook and Nightlight. Rise and Shine, Waiting, and Fungus Among Us. And then there's Sponge, or <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna say like Sponge Buddies, but no, it's Spy Buddies, Boat Smarts, and and the good old what's what's his name? And then there's New Digs, Crabs a la Mo, Roller Cowards, Bucket Sweet Bucket. And to love a patty and breathe a fresh Squidward. All right, we only have like three more discs to cover, and three is a magic number. All right, here is disc 12. Um, there's audio commentaries on this disc as well. But let's look at the episode selection, because that's kind of what we're, what we're mainly here for. Uh, Money Talks, SpongeBob versus the Patty Gadget. And slimy dancing. Next up, we have the the crusty sponge and sing a song of Patrick, um, a flea in her dome, the donut of shame, and the crusty plate. And then we have a goo goo gas and the big switch. Next up, we have Atlantis Square Pantis. Um, Again, not a very beloved Spongebob special. It's not very beloved. Next up we have Picture Day, Pat No Pay, and Blackjack. And then last up we have Black, Black and Sponge and Mermaid Man vs. Spongebob. I actually, I actually liked uh, Mermaid Man vs. Spongebob. That one's a pretty good one. Alright, we only have two more discs to go. It's elementary. All right, here is disc 13. Let's look at the episodes. All right, we have the inmates of summer to save a squirrel. Pest of the West. I actually kind of like that one. Pest of the West. 20,000 patties under the sea. Battle of Bikini Bottom, uh, not to be confused with the uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom video game. Um, whatever happened to SpongeBob? Again, uh, not a very beloved special, but it, it, it's there. The Two Faces of Squidward. Then Sponge. Sp I think it says Sponge Henge. I think it's at Sponge Henge. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, it's kind of hard. It's, it was hard for me um, to tell because of the, you know, because the way the font is. Band in Bikini Bottom, and then Stanley S. Squarepants. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. We've looked at all the episodes from seasons one through five, but we're not done yet. We have one more disc to cover. Then we'll be the hero with zero left. All right, here is disc 14, which is pretty much just special bonus features. Um, unfortunately, the, unfortunately, the bonus features are kind of quite lacking. But, but considering that you're um, getting pretty much the entire 
golden age of SpongeBob um, in this set. I, I don't think it's um, too big of an issue. But the highlight for this disc is the Square Roots, the story of SpongeBob SquarePants documentary. And yeah, I, I don't know how long it is. Let's see. It is, yeah, it's a 42 minute, um, it's 42 minutes long. It was a pretty good documentary. Um, and since this set was made to celebrate the 10th anniversary, um, this, this documentary was also, you know, that, that was part of the 10th anniversary celebration. We got Life Lessons from Bikini Bottom. I don't remember what that one is. Help Wanted, the Seven Seas edition. Um, basically, they just had the episode of Help Wanted, but, but they transition um, into, like, different languages. I don't know what the Kick Wham Pow Bob music video is. I don't think I ever checked that out. But yeah, we are finally done looking through them, all the different menus of each disc. So now let's go on to the pros and cons and then the final verdict. All right, pros and cons for SpongeBob SquarePants, the first 100 episodes. Uh, pro number one would be the fact that you pretty much get the complete series of SpongeBob SquarePants in terms of like the you know, the golden age, which most people say it's seasons one through three. I think it's seasons one through five. Um, um, I, and just for the record, I do like the new SpongeBob episodes. I actually do, but a lot of people don't. Um, sadly, it's not that they don't think it's, it's not that they don't think it's as good as like the earlier seasons, but they just like, they just like, don't think they're, they just don't think they're that good. Period. Uh, which I kind of have to disagree, but that's not what this video is about. It's about the it's about the golden age of SpongeBob SquarePants, and so um, and and for that factor alone, that's kind of what I consider. Uh, that's why I consider you know you know like the 100 episode set to be the definitive uh, SpongeBob DVD release. Period. Um, and then the second pro would probably be the fact that um, I'd say 95% of the episodes are uncut, um, meaning that the the Shanghai episode it's it, um, e even though it's slightly edited, um, even though they slightly edited out you know like the phone call and everything, um, it is still the original version of that episode. And yeah, and any any scenes that were like cut. From like later rebroadcastings of the episodes, they're they're completely uncut um, on the DVD releases. Um, I'd say I'd say the only exception would probably be the episode "Just One Bite." Um, um, you probably, if you're a SpongeBob fan like me, um, you probably know that there was a deleted scene for uh, uh, for "Just One Bite," and um, for some reason that's not um, they cut that scene out on later rebroadcastings, and on the DVD releases. But I think the episode is perfectly fine, you know, without that, um, you know, without that scene. So I, I kind of, unless if you're like a completionist, I kind of doubt you would care. Um, oh yeah, and also not to mention that both Help Wanted and Midlife, and Midlife Crustacean is on that set. So that's definitely, you know, something, you know, worth um, tracking this DVD down alone. And then pro number three would probably be its video quality. The video quality, um, you know, the first five seasons of SpongeBob, they were produced in standard definition. So I think it's perfectly fine for, you know, for those seasons to be on Blu-ray. I know some people kind of want, you know, season releases of the show on Blu-ray, um, especially since, you know, like the, especially since, you know, Paramount Plus has all the episodes like remastered in, in HD. But personally, I'm perfectly fine with, you know, with the first five seasons uh, being on DVD. It's their original, um, it's their original, like, definition and everything. And they're all, and they're all, like, presented in their original 4x3 aspect ratio. The set also has some good audio. I don't see anything wrong with the audio quality. I think the audio quality is, is pretty good. And the packaging, uh, more specifically, the packaging on the original release is, um, is pretty good. You know, you have that, you have that, you know, 3D, you know, lithograph sleeve. 
And then you have like the cardboard box that houses seven skinny DVD cases. Um, I think it's pretty good packaging. It's a little bulky, but still pretty good packaging. And then the presentation on all of the discs. I'm glad you know that they made um, all 14 discs unique. Um, they're very like they're all very different from one another, like for the most part. And they even play like different. You know, like different music from the SpongeBob show. Like, like for example, disc one plays the theme song, while you know, like the other, while the other discs, you know, play like, you know, like, re you know, random like production music and everything. I think the presentation just looks amazing. And then, and then the last pro would probably be the bonus features. Um, it does lack in bonus features, um, but I did really like the Square Roots documentary. Um, I think it was a really good documentary, in my opinion. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now let's get into the cons. The first con would probably be the packaging on the on the re-releases, because for the uh, for the second release, I'm not a big fan of this of this style of packaging where they where they have like these. Where they have like the discs partially stacked, and it's and the thing that holds the discs is a separate piece from the case itself. Also, these also these the eject buttons are are hard to like um, actually, you know, push down on. Cause I I swear if I like I have to like push it down like really hard, you know, for it to like be able to like open up and. And I, I would have like have like this this indent, you know, from pushing it down very hard. Not a big fan of this packaging style. In fact, that's kind of like in fact that's kind of like um, <laughs> the main reason why I changed the the case on the Foster set. And then for the second release, and then for the second release. Technically, this should be good packaging because, you know, none of the discs are, are stacked or anything and it's, and it's all like convenient and everything. Isn't that convenient? But the biggest problem I have with this set, in my opinion, is that the, is that the disc trays, the eject button is not very good. Um, I, I could easily just remove a disc, you know, like without even like... Okay, maybe not, maybe not every eject button, but for certain ones, um, it's definitely um, a big issue. Because, um, like I already mentioned earlier, disc six, I had to put like I had to put like tape on there, you know, you know, because like every time I would like open up this case, disc six would you know like keep falling off and everything, and I I just really like did not like that at all. And I'm 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 hoping that I'm hoping that the ones from Walmart were just defects, and then the other, but the other releases, you know, don't have that issue. I mean, again, it's so weird. It cannot be intentional. Like, why would they? Why would they have the first case be like slightly yellowed, but the other one not? I mean, the next 100 episodes um, reissue, you know, did not have that issue. And besides, uh, for those wondering, yes, I do have the next 100 episodes set. Let me know in the comments if you want me to cover that one. But yeah. So yeah, so the packaging on the re-releases, it's not, it's not the best, at least in my personal opinion. I mean, inherently, there's nothing really wrong with the, with the packaging on, on the re-releases. But they're just not like my... They're just not like my preferred, um, you know, packaging styles. A a at least this one wise. I mean, this one, I do like the style. Just in execution, they uh, they should have used much better quality uh, cases. And then the second con would probably be the lack of audio commentaries, or or at least a good majority of audio commentaries. Um, I think they only put commentaries on like the fifth season episodes um because i do know that there were audio commentaries from like 
from like the other four seasons, but sadly they did not um, include them. If you want to listen to them to the commentaries m themselves, um, you'll have to buy like the season sets, like the complete first season, the complete second season, the complete third season, or the complete fourth season. And and same goes for any bonus features that were on previous you know season sets and even some compilation discs. Um, sadly, uh, they did not put any other uh, bonus bonus materials from those sets into first one hundred episodes. Um, maybe 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 it was just um, because of the square root documentary they wanted to um, in include that. And so that's kind of why there aren't as many bonus features as I wish it had. But considering that, you know, we already have like 100 episodes from the show, it's, it's not really that big of an issue, personally. So yeah, so that's kind of pretty much it for SpongeBob SquarePants, the first 100 episodes. Obviously, I have all three, all three versions of them, but I am going to keep one of them, and I'll, sell, I'll probably sell like the rest of them. Because really, I only need one copy of the first 100 episodes, and the and the release I'm gonna be keeping in my collection. It's going to be the original release from 2009 with the skinny DVD cases and everything, and the 3D um, lithograph sleeve. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching this. I'm betting it's going to be like a really long video. I mean, the first 100 episodes is a really big um, DVD set um, in general. So obviously, you know, the video is going to be much longer. But thank you so much for sticking around. And thank you for, you know, for getting me, you know, into my 10th DVD showcase. Um, I can't wait um, to cover more, more DVDs in the future. And yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure to ring the notification bell so you won't miss out on any videos that I produce. I'll see you real soon. Same sponge time, same sponge channel.